Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Monday Motivation. In today's Monday Motivation, we're gonna be talking about a few things. We're gonna be talking about the difference between laziness and procrastination. We're gonna be talking about um, taking pride in your work and all this other stuff, okay? Because, <clears throat> you know, right now, I'm literally sitting here uh, Saturday afternoon um, in my house with uh, my wife and we're just chilling out and I'm just, you know, editing you know uh the next video um on my to-do list which was the monday motivation and i remember i filmed the monday motivation yesterday literally right back here in my backyard and it was terrible because as i'm editing it now first of all before as i was filming it i knew it was terrible but as i was looking over it right now and editing it i was like man this is even more terrible so i was like okay now what am i gonna do am i gonna publish this am i gonna just scrap it am i gonna do nothing so you know I saw that, you know, pretty much we're just hanging out, being lazy all day today. So then I said to myself, all right, well, I'm gonna come out here to the backyard and we're gonna try this again. Now, I don't know how much battery I have left on this thing because I was filming all day today. We were actually out and about, it's Saturday, and we were just uh, hanging out, running a few errands and uh, doing a few things. And I, you know, was recording. <laughs> Look at these things. Oh yeah, I think we made some jam out of these things. Eh, I don't know what they are. Anyways, the point is, let's get stay on topic, is the fact that, yeah, I was editing my thing and I saw that the quality of the topic I was talking about was terrible. And um, I was basically talking about, you know, the what's, you know, laziness and procrastination and uh, being at a deadline and being at, you know, Having enough time to do something can sometimes be a killer. And at the same time, uh, being up against the wall, being up against the deadline, sometimes you can make and produce some of your best stuff, some of your best work. And so, you know, I was trying to convey that topic and that idea and I didn't do a very good job of it. So I decided, you know what, let me come out here and just do it again, again. I, I love my work so much and I take so much pride in what I do. And I understand that, you know, what I say is important to you guys and it's not important in this, and what i mean is that like your time your time is important and so i don't want to be wasting your time and so if i'm going to be out here doing one of these videos if you're going to be watching one of my videos i want to give you at the very least some sort of uh, um some sort of value for your time that's it so you know, I'm not gonna get too detailed as to, you know, what made me come out here and do my video. But again, besides the low quality of the topic in the video that I made, I said to myself, as I was looking for the Gary V clip to play at the end, I, I found, uh, you know, uh, a topic that he was talking about, you know, talking about laziness and procrastination. And the thing is that, you know, when I talk about it a lot of times, like, hey, look, guys, you know, you all have enough time to go out there and do it. You know, like he likes to say, it's like uh, you have, you know, you have 24 hours a day. And, you know, if you do the math, you know, basically you do have enough time, you know, at the very least to dedicate one hour to whatever it is you want to do. But is it do you want to do it bad enough or not? And, you know, that whole thing. And so so many things. And so. Again, it comes down to what he was saying about the laziness and procrastination. He was, uh, you know, and by the way, what I'm going to play at the end that's Gary Vee related to something else, so you can watch it as well. But, you know, basically, it just came down to the idea that, like, for example, you know, I'm lazy sometimes. I procrastinate sometimes. You know, we're all human. I, I expect you guys to be human, too. It's, it's very unnatural to be super duper crazy obsessed obsessed if you're one of those people that's crazy obsessed you're not even watching any of these are uh, to begin with you're so obsessed doing what you're doing you're killing it out there already this is for the average joe and so you know basically i work like an animal on my craft on my career on so many aspects of my life and so many things that i do but the one thing that i you know actually have been doing ever since i've been with christian has been taking time to just relax a little bit all right sure I, I used to do that already but a lot of times now with her i dedicate my week and says spending time with her and just being lazy or going out and experiencing life regardless you know what i mean it doesn't mean that i don't go out there and record and make videos and make fun and you know make a fun day out of it and all that stuff but the point is is that you know you have to take time for yourself you 
if all of a sudden you're doing something and you're being lazy about it, you don't want to do it, you know, anything like that, and you are being 100% honest with yourself about it, then you realize immediately, well, this is something I don't want to do, so I'm not going to do it. Just, it's the people that are constantly, you know, lazy with something, hate something, and they just keep doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it and then blame the world and blame all these other, you know, um, factors that have nothing to do with it. You know, like I said, you know, right now I have many choices to make, but I said to my sweetheart, hey, babe, I'm going to go outside real quick and make a little video. And she's like, okay, and that's it. You know what I mean? And she's there painting, doing her thing. And it's like, you know, what did I want to do? You know what I mean? Do I want to make some quality content? Do I want to be proud of what I do? Am I, am I going to get to, am I lazy? No, I'm not lazy. You know what I mean? I was just busy and I, you know, doing all this stuff. But the fact that I love what I do I saw what I was doing, I didn't like it, and instead of just being fine with it and just being schleppy about it, I wasn't, and so that's why I'm out here making something else. And it's the same thing, you know, what I'm trying to convey here with all these ideas that I'm just throwing out, out there at you. But if I did not like what I was doing, if I did not take pride in these Monday motivations, I did not enjoy making these videos that I make for you guys on a regular basis, then I wouldn't even care. I would have just put uploaded that or not uploaded anything at all. You know what I mean? And look, and the last video that I uploaded was a video about the, the virus, you know, the thing that's going on everywhere. And um, it got demonetized. It was confirmed. It was confirmed my, by, uh oh, there's things falling from the, from the trees and I want something to hit me on the head. Anyways, but my last video was confirmed by manual review that it was demonetized. Um, I got like five thumbs downs. It was a bunch of things like that. And it made me second think myself like, damn, was the content that I made, was it not good? Did I not, was, was it sucky? I didn't, and I watched it again. I was like, no, it was a pretty good video. It was not horrible. It was just my thoughts. But, you know, that's how concerned I am, you know, about what I make. And so then after watching it again, and I was like, oh, okay, the video was okay. It was great. You know, it's just a lot of people that did not under, like my opinions. That's fine too. I understand that. It's not the first time. Um, but it's just being okay with it and being happy with it, you know? And uh, and then if someone doesn't like my art or someone doesn't like my ideas, well, I'm okay with it, you know? <laughs> like, it's not a big deal there. Now, you know, when I am not okay with it, now that's the problem. And so that's why, you know, you, again, you know, the motivation aspect of this is very easy because, again, I, I love what I do. I, I enjoy what I do. I take pride in what I do. And so even though I might you know, in, in other times, you know, in other weekends, be lazy and just sit back and do nothing. You know, this weekend, um, instead of being lazy, I'm going to do a little extra work because I have to do a little extra work because I want to make sure that I make the best possible thing. And so I hope that, you know, all of this stuff is, uh, you know, uh, kind of getting through to you guys. And maybe you guys are understanding my thoughts and what I'm trying to get at here that um, about the motivation aspect to all this, because look, it's it's OK to be lazy. It's OK to be um, to procrastinate. I procrastinate a lot sometimes and uh, it's not a big deal. The whole procrastination thing, it's totally fine too. Or sometimes you're up against a deadline and uh, it doesn't matter. You know, the point is, is that at least for me, a lot of times when I'm at up against the wall, if I'm up against the deadline, if um, I got things, if I got to do something very last minute, a lot of times I make my best work or I do my best uh, art or I do my best anything there because I'm one of those guys that I am very, very, very good under pressure. I think very well on my feet and um, and I go with the flow very, very well. Again, I used to be a chef. I used to, a lot of times I used to not consider myself a chef. I used to consider myself a fireman, you know what I mean? Because I was always putting out fires. That's basically what I was doing as a chef. But like literally and figuratively but the point i'm making is is that that's for me but that's not for everybody everybody's a little different and so you know to everybody maybe procrastination isn't a good thing because they don't like being up against the deadline they don't like being up against the wall they don't like be being up against any of these things but look the point is is that we're all always bombarded with all different types of environments whether we like them or not to me my killer is having too much time and having not, no deadline and having just, you know, the, all the free time in the world. That to me, that is the killer. You know, to me, I like having some sort of like fire under my butt, you know, in order to get me to do things, you know, and to do things quickly and to do things efficiently and to, you know, make and all this other stuff. So again, let me hold on one second. I want to make sure the batteries, uh, I have no idea how long we got on this battery. Oh, well. Hope it doesn't turn off yet. But 
you know, regardless, let me see if I can uh, round this all out. But the point is, is guys, look, you got to take time, you know, to look into yourself. And uh, when you're lazy, you know, you got to look into the reasons like, well, why am I being lazy? What's going on here? Why is, you know, why am I feeling this way? And basically it's because you should not be doing that. You don't want to be doing that. And when you're really excited and happy about doing something, then, well, that's because that's what you should be doing. And that's what you got to pursue and so on and so forth and whatever it is and and that's it you know to me in my case it's like i like to talk i like to convey thoughts i love to have conversations i love to so this is why i do this i'm figuring it out and we're figuring it out together and we're enjoying the ride and it's a great great awesome time and so you know basically with all that being said all right hold on a second because i really got to see the battery situation hold on all right, so it says that the battery's at 5%. So today's Monday motivation is obviously gonna be the shortest Monday motivation I think that I've made, but it is what it is though. You know, I'm happy with it. I'm happier with this than I was with what I had before. And um, I'm just gonna, you know, publish this and hopefully it teaches all of us a lesson. Um, not just about this, but for other things, you know, going forward. Because that's what these things are all about, right? So with that being said, let me start plugging in some of my things and then I'll just continue talking until this thing turns off and then it's Gary V, Gary V time. But, you know, basically, you already know the deal, guys. Thanks again for watching. All right, please check out my website, joseadiaga.com. Please check out my other YouTube channel where I put a lot of my travel content. I got all kinds of videos up there all the time. Please check out um, the podcast. I got a brand new podcast where I'm uploading comedy video things that I'm only uploading into podcast form. So if you love this content, if you love listening to me and my voice and love, you know, hearing me talk, check out the podcast, check out the, my, in my, all my, my whole library of videos on library on bit shoot and I'm all over the internet. Okay. Literally I'm on Instagram and Twitter and every other, um, social media platform that's out there. And then some just find me. You already know my name. You already know where all the links are. It's at the bottom description of this video, just like every other video. And that's it, guys. So you already know the deal. I love you guys. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon so you don't miss any upload because I'm uploading all the time. And uh, don't forget to stay awesome. And then that's it. Now let's continue with the video because I want to keep talking a little bit. Um, so yeah, guys, you know, basically, you know, all you got to do is just, you know, find what you love and what is it? What are you going to find that you, what is it that you love? I don't know what that is. Everybody has something different, all right? But you got to find what your thing is. And when you find what your thing is, you know, right now, even though I'm working, this isn't work, you know? I'm having fun. Look at where I am. I'm enjoying the, the breeze sitting here. Look at this. Look at my view. All right. Now about the roll of blunt so I can edit this video and upload it for you guys. What a life, what a life. And you can have the same life too, guys. I mean, basically again, you know, this is my job, one of my jobs, all right? And you can find what you love to do as a job, as a hobby, as a career, as a anything, by simply just following your heart, following your inside, and then just doing it, and that's it. Seriously, it's a lot easier than you think. All right, so with that being said, I'm going to put an end to this video because that's it. I got no more thoughts. I got nothing else to convey here. I'm going to let Gary V, you know, take over here so you guys can uh, get a little bit more. I think quote unquote laziness can have a more thoughtful conversation of actually, is it laziness or are you showing yourself that you don't like that thing? <laughs> Why don't you do more flipping when you follow care? Like I always thought the Uber Lyft driver and flip combo combo yeah. was a monster. Was yeah. a fucking monster because you're naturally yeah. driving around anyway. Yeah. Like, Plus like, you could pitch to your passengers if they have anything they want to get rid of. You well, that's that's taking it a little <laughs> far, Jimmy. But but just being on the road at all times puts you in play to finding random closeouts from oh, yeah. stores, yeah. rolling up on a garage sale. Mm. Do you just not like it or is it hard? Like I, why don't you do more flipping is my question in a world where I think you could clean up because you have the knowledge. I don't know. I, I don't know okay. exactly why it is. I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm ashamed to say I think a little bit of it's it might laziness. be laziness. But um, actually, let's, can we stay on this? I don't this? know. I mean, I'm not uh, Jimmy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lean into this because I want to yeah. bring value to everybody listening. Yeah. I, this is gonna f actually probably confuse some people. I actually 
don't spend a lot of time on laziness, right? Actually, even if you think about it, I don't talk about it, right? You mean in your content? Yeah. yeah. Oh, by the way, my content is a manifestation of what's in my mind. So not even in my own mind. When I hear that, I appreciate why you say it, but it's so funny. It's funny how that just went through my mind. I actually think being lazy is a good thing. Let me explain. This is gonna be an interesting moment. Yeah, no, you're freaking out, right? Well, I was gonna say, isn't like stop watching Netflix kind of like related to laziness? Stop watching Netflix is under the context of stop using something to escape your real life if you don't realize you're trying to escape your real life. Don't use Netflix or watching the New York, let's get very much into clarification on this episode. I watch the Jets for four hours on Sundays. I do that because it allows me to escape and like it gives me balance to my insanity but I don't watch the Jets on Sunday to get away from the fact that I hate my job and instead of doing something like for my job, I'm gonna use this because Netflix is a seven day a week thing. 2K and Fortnite is a seven day a week thing. And in, in even sports, people that watch the Yankees and the Mets and the Knicks and the Jets the way I watch the Jets, that's why football worked for me, one day a week, you know. Some people use entertainment as a reset and a balance to their other life, which is work, family. And then other people use cont- uh, you know, escapism as a way to just get by because they hate their life and it's the way for them not to have to think about it, right? Laziness has my attention because I think if you're lazy, you're actually giving yourself an indication that you don't like it. So I think laziness is- you don't like what? Whatever the task at hand. For you, you just prop, I, you'll appreciate this, and I think you can see it in Trash Talk, I mean I'm never, D-Rock will tell you who hangs out with me a lot, that between Trash Talk and the baseball card show in Chicago, he's never seen me happier. I get an incredible thrill, deep, inherent happiness from getting into a car on a 6 a.m. on a Saturday and going to find something to buy for three bucks and sell for a hundred. This is not about the cliche shit that people say in my comments of like, you didn't make that much money, it was the gas, you know, it's not all those things, I love it. School, I hate it. I am lazy around housework, around logistics. I think quote unquote laziness can have a more thoughtful conversation of actually is it laziness or are you showing yourself that you don't like that thing and it becomes a mechanism to self-awareness. I think it's that. I me, think it's me that, too. You don't, that you don't like that thing, I think. Me too. Yeah. I don't think yeah. you're lazy. And I think a little bit of the You're, you're not lazy. I think a you're little. You're fucking, gr- I apologize, but I, I want to give you a compliment. Yeah. You're driving around hardcore grinding, yeah. lifting, you're not lazy. You just don't get the same thrill yeah. or enjoyment. And I think a little bit of it is. What it is, D-Rock, is I think we need to stop apologizing for being lazy, all of us, which is probably subconsciously why I don't talk about it and we need to use it as an indicator of I don't like that thing, this job, this relationship, this school, this startup, and then use it as a starting point to try something else on the side that eventually can become your thing and you can stop doing that thing that you're quote unquote lazy So about. this may sound Go weird ahead, to you, but no, I, I, just, so. I was just thinking of it as you were talking. I think a little bit of it too for me, like because I do like the flip stuff on eBay, like I do enjoy it when I do it. I think a little bit of it for me is also the economics of it, you know, where I'm thinking like, okay, if I'm out doing this, it's taking it's away from me doing the that. The analytical side of me I that, like that, that prevents me from doing anything for four fucking years. Like the like analytical that. side of me thinks like, well, if I'm garage sailing from six to eight, like how much could I have made with Uber and Lyft? No, no, that's, a, you that know, is, by the way, that's exactly right. Right. And then in the comments of this, wherever that may be. And I'm one of those cynical people. When you, when, when you first got onto garage sailing, I was like, yeah, but the gas and the eBay fees <laughs> and this, the boxes and, you know, and, and then my and girlfriends, like, you ain't going <laughs> to store the shit here. Like, you know, <laughs> um, that, not that, not that she would say that. <laughs>